and welcome to Shed Time Stories with Izzy. I've got a lovely book for us to share today. The title is Aesop's Fables, The Hare and the Tortoise. If you have this book at home, you can read along with me. The author is Miles Kelly and the illustrator is Monica Filipina. The author is the person who has written the story and the illustrator is the person who draws all the pictures. Can you think what this story might be about? There's a hare and a tortoise. They have numbers on. Are they going to have a race, do you think? Shall we find out? The hare was always boasting about how fast he could run. I'm the fastest animal in the land, he would say. One day, the hare asked, who will run a race against me? The other animals were fed up with the hare's boasting, but no one would accept his challenge for fear of losing. No one except the tortoise. Ha ha! The hare laughed out loud. The other animals gasped. The tortoise just smiled. Preparations for the race began. The fox drew up a map of the route. The race was to take place the following week. For the next seven days, the hare showed off, speeding around the meadow, dashing up hills, knocking animals over and upsetting just about everyone. The tortoise just watched from afar as he chewed leisurely on grass and leaves. The night before the race, the tortoise went to bed early, smiling happily as the sun went down. Early to bed, early to rise, he said to himself. Meanwhile, the hare stayed up late partying with his neighbours, the badgers. Shh! Their noisy antics kept everyone awake. The next day dawned bright and sunny. The tortoise awoke refreshed and full of energy. He ate a hearty breakfast, then got ready for the race. The hare wasn't feeling quite so refreshed. His late night meant he had hardly slept at all. He felt exhausted. He poured himself a large glass of carrot juice and ooh, yawned loudly. Out in the meadow, the animals were gathering for the race. There were stalls selling cakes and sandwiches. Balloons and bunting had been tied to trees. A party atmosphere was building. At last, it was time for the race to start. Feeling more like his usual self, the hare took his place at the start line. Get ready to lose! he said to the tortoise. The tortoise just smiled. He didn't seem in the least bit worried. Then the fox began the countdown to the race. On your marks, get set! The whistle blew and they were off. The hare dashed away at full speed around the meadow then up the hill. He stopped to look back and saw the tortoise plodding along far behind. Grinning happily, the hare danced a little jig on the hilltop. As he ran down the hill, the hare grabbed some crunchy lettuces from a field. He stopped for a mid-morning snack. Yummy! 
the sun was warm and he decided to have a short nap. After all, he'd had a late night and the tortoise was far behind. In the meantime, the tortoise carried on up the hill and over the top. He saw the hare snoozing under a tree and marched bravely past. The hare didn't stir a whisker. Much, much later, feeling stiff and cold, the hare woke up with a start. He looked up at the sun and saw how low it was in the sky. It must be almost evening. He feared the worst. The hare flew around the rest of the route at top speed. He ran like he'd never run before. <gasps> but in the distance, he heard shouting and clapping and could just make out the tortoise nearing the finish line. With the finish line in sight and the crowd roaring him on, the tortoise staggered on as fast as he could. A few minutes later, he crossed the line to huge applause and the crowd shouting his name. The hare had lost his own challenge. From now on, perhaps he wouldn't be so boastful. Slow and steady wins the race. The end. That was a good story. I liked the way the tortoise was quite thoughtful. And the hare, I think the hare learnt a very good lesson. Being boastful isn't kind to others. And we are all good at different things. I hope you enjoyed today's Shed Time Story. If you want to, you can like, share and subscribe to Shed Time Stories and then you will be ready for the next book for us to share together. Bye bye everybody. Da, 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 da.